good morning guys welcome back well, to the channel in today's video we're going to be trying some different stuff with powder coating on these tumblers so went on amazon and i ordered these eight tumblers 30 ounce tumblers um which is the same thing i have here i was just comparing this one the illusion blueberry to this vinyl i got y'all will probably have already seen that video but I ordered eight of these 30 ounce tumblers on Amazon. I think it's like 70 bucks. I don't even remember, but we'll, uh, let's take a look at these things. So I've never heard of these. Uh, Hassle Outdoor. Never heard of these, but it seems pretty nice. So if you look at this compared to my powder coated Yeti. I mean, they're, yeah, <laughs> it's a dead match. You can see this is a Yeti. And this one is unbranded. So, who knows? They might be from the same place. I, I have no clue. Um, these even actually look like the old Yeti lids. But, what? This one. So kind of like that but anyway bought eight of these uh, we're gonna try some different stuff with powder coating them i'm gonna leave that out so as you all know we powder coated some tumblers um a couple weeks ago probably a month ago now but what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to do some two-tone on these guys um actually let me grab those that we did um uh, before Here are two of the four that I've already powder coated. One we gave to a neighbor up the road a little bit. Um, surprised her with that. Did a pink one. I'll throw a picture of it up here on the screen. And then the next second picture there, uh, I also threw in a picture of the red one. The red one's missing because my grandpa takes it to work every day with him. So what we're gonna be doing, um, Here's one other thing real quick, quick note. So this one's got stuff all over it. It's been sitting on the table over here. But this is a, it's like a translucent, transparent color. And since this is an Ozark cup, they come with a little band around them. Well, that leaves adhesive underneath. I didn't catch that before we powder coated it. Whatever, I'm not mad. It's not perfect anyway. This is the third one that I did. This is the first one we did. It came out pretty good. Um, it's just dirty. But anyway, what we're going to be doing is we're going to take some decals. I ordered some vinyl. I think it's in my office in there. Um, I ordered some vinyl that's not permanent uh, adhesive. You know, like this stuff here that I normally use. Permanent adhesive vinyl. I ordered some non-permanent adhesive i think they call it removable or something like that um but i ordered that which is supposed to be better to use on cups like these so we're going to give that a shot on this one but anyway so far i mean these don't seem like bad quality uh the lid don't fit exactly perfect but hey they're kind of cheap cups off of Amazon, what do you expect? Um, but what we're gonna do, like I said, we're gonna print a little decal. We're gonna powder coat the cup, uh, one color, whatever, whatever we want our stencil to be. Apply a decal over it, powder coat the whole cup another color, and then put it in the oven, bake it um, until the powder flows, pull the decals off, and that'll give us our two-tone. And what we're going to be trying that with is my logo. Um, so my SL logo that I use for everything. That's what we're going to be trying that with on this one. And then if that works out, we have a uh, lady my grandpa works with. She wants one with a little logo on it. So shouldn't be too bad. Uh, we're not going to get to it today. As you can see, we got got a bunch of other stuff to do. Custom decals for the 6 0, 
6-0 headlight stuff should be here pretty soon. Uh, I got clutches for my 420. I'm going to drag it out, do some stuff to it. Just a bunch of stuff going on. So we will get to these uh, sometime, hopefully this week. But if not, um, I'll just pick back up here. But the first piece of the puzzle kind of is here. So I've been waiting on these a little over a week. So now that they're here, I'm actually pretty happy about that. So we can get started whenever we want to. But if you're looking for some of these, I will drop a link down below in the description if y'all want to grab these. Um, again, I'm not real sure on the quality. They look a whole lot like a Yeti, but I'm not going to say that they are or they're not. Um, I just bought these to test and kind of play with since most of the stores around here don't have 30 ounces. And this are Yetis, and I don't want to practice on a $40 Yeti cup, uh, if you know what I mean. So, I'm going to box these up, put them back here in my office, and uh, we'll get to these another day. It will do some powder coating. Good morning, guys. Welcome back or to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be working on powder coating yet again. So, what I'm doing right now is, I don't want to show all this stuff, but what I'm doing right now is um, I'm going to cut some decals. I have to make a decal for a friend. And then I'm going to make some other decals. So what we're going to try to do is two-toned powder-coated cups. Um, so, I have a logo already up here. A family friends logo and then i have uh i'm gonna do my logo as well my logo is going to be the test dummy um because my sl logo doesn't have any like sharp edges whereas these that i made for miss charlotte you see lots of lots of edges and, and everything else so we're gonna do my logo first uh, play around with it and see what happens um i watched a couple videos about this and it doesn't seem difficult but you know how that goes but i'm gonna do my sl logo here uh, i have some uh, non-permanent vinyl that we're going to use to get these cut with and i guess we'll go from there but let's see here we go so I'm gonna get these cut, uh, get a machine loaded with that vinyl that's in the office, and um, we'll go from there. But let me show you real quick what we're gonna do. So it's loading, but we're gonna do one of hers. I'm gonna double check the measurements. I have it set at three inches right now. So I'll double check the measurements on it size my logo as well make sure they'll fit on the cups and uh, we'll get them cut so you see my sl logo here so that's what we're going to be doing um on mine and then again do hers on her cup that she wants so my grandpa works with her and they're good friends so we'll give this a shot and um also have some other cups that we're going to do today for my aunt and get her set up so you see my logo it's basically a five by three so i'll take a little measuring tape see how that plays out on the size of the cup and uh if nothing else we can adjust from there but i'm gonna do this real quick get these cut and then we'll go out to the shop and get the powder coating. All right, guys, so I have here the two decals and everything else. But my grandpa, he's got the powder. You can see him down there. But I've got um, two pink cups we're going to do. And two two-tone. That's going to be these two. So... And that 
case you're wondering. I ran out of uh, transfer paper. <laughs> so this was off the actual cardboard roll. But anyway, we're gonna go down there and get everything set up. I already brought four cups down here. Um, these two, I'm gonna be blue and white. Miss uh, Charlotte said she didn't care uh, what colors. She wanted red, white, and or blue. So we're gonna do blue and white. Um, so I don't really have any reds that I just love. And the blue that I chose that I liked, it, um, it's kind of dark in the two or three reds that we have are all dark so a white will help her logo here stand out the best so that's what we're gonna do um, so we're gonna get to work get to doing this it's a couple days later but we're gonna get everything set up powder coat those two pink cups um, for my aunt I don't know if I mentioned that doing two pink ones for her they're coming up from mississippi this weekend so get those ready for her and then get these two ready i'm gonna practice on mine first because my sl logo here it's a pretty rounded logo it should be a an easy test piece so before i get started i'll give you an update here in a minute so got a little box here. Uh, I've got a Chris in it. Put my tripod back down. Um, and we have one of our little stands here. So y'all know these. You can move them. You can tighten this to move up and down. You can see there. It's got a nut welded on it. Goes up and down when you spin it. Um, so what I always do is for the powder cut setup, have a little alligator clip. We always attach it right here. Um, probably not the best thing to do. Need to get one of the lazy Susan things. That way you can spin this. Um, but anyway, another thing um, some people have said is if you just set a cup down on here, powder will bleed through up into the cup. So I've seen a lot of people recommend do this. You take some scott brand shop towels fold it into fours just like so cut the center out put a slice in it that way you have four of these um and then you can take one they'll stay you take one you can flip it over like so set your cup down onto it and it makes like a seal um that's very annoying but anyway, what we've been doing since we don't have a little spinner thing is um, we'll set the cup on here and then we'll thread this up, puts more pressure or same amount of pressure on this. Um, then you're still spinning the cup. So I found that to work uh, last time when I was doing cups. But we have Eastwood powder on all three colors. Uh, Eastwood machine, and then a, I think that's a Campbell Hoss Field uh, little compressor over there with a water trap. But a little Eastwood kit here. Um, I don't even remember how much these were, but if you'll miss those videos, when we set up a little oven and stuff, we bought this, uh, the four of these, that oven, that compressor pretty cheap and a bunch of powder um but we're gonna do the two pink cups first kind of get back into the swing of things and then we'll move on to the two-tone cups shortly after and i'll keep y'all updated best i can along the way all right guys so both cups have been wiped down with a what's called the alcohol got some little fuzzies try to do something with those uh, probably just blow them off uh, before we get started but we're gonna do these two at the same time with pink um, but meanwhile 
the oven over there is preheating to 450. Um, and as soon as it's preheated, and we get these two ready to go, we set up the uh, Eastwood little kit here with an extension cord over there, and we'll get started. Okay, guys, so we got the peat cup sprayed there in the um, let's say this one, just the face. So if you can see me around here, it's not coated. And same thing back here, it's not coated either. Um, not gonna coat the whole cup in white because you don't really need it. But I'm gonna load up another white cup uh, here in just a minute. That way we don't have to clean this twice. Um, and then as soon as those pink cups come out of there, uh, we're gonna let them cure, finish curing out uh, about another five minutes or so. And then after they're cured, we're gonna throw this one, or probably both the two white ones in there. Now pull them out, let them cool down, throw our decals on them. And then after that, we'll be able to put our decals on, um, coat them with our blue, which is right here, and throw them right back in the oven. Um, but we're letting the oven come up to 450 real quick, but it's just come out of the oven and they look pretty good, if I would say so. So we're going to let this come up to 450, put those in. Um, we're not going to cure them all the way, pull them back out, do our decals, throw our blue on there, throw them back in the oven, and then after that cures, we'll put them back in there and let them fully, or we'll let them flow, pull the decals off, put them in there, let them fully cure. Alrighty guys, so we got both decals on, we got two of them in Charlotte's there, and then mine on the white. Now mine, we kind of spun it a little too much. So you can see it's kind of starting to break up right there on the powder. Over here it's covered real good. It'll be all right. This is a learning experience. Um, it might even give us a pretty cool little effect there. So what we're going to do, we just put these back on. We're going to rise these, raise them back up where they go. Then we're going to go over here, spray the blue on mine first. And then put it in the oven, I think uh, about seven minutes on it as well. Seven to ten, something like that. I'll look back at the video I watched earlier and um, make sure on it before we throw it back in the oven. But there we are. So we're going to do this one first as an experiment. And if we learn anything different, we'll do on this one. We're gonna get to going, and I'll update you on a minute. All right, guys, so the water in the towel came in, but just sprayed it. It's about to go in the oven. It's getting up to 450, but I'm gonna carry it over there. He's on a phone call, so I'm, I'm on my own here, but I'm gonna carry it over there, throw it in the oven real quick. Okay, guys, so we got the second one in the oven and then my air fill cup. Now, this Eastwood, I think they call it metallic blue, is a very metallic blue. So, this has been cooling off for a couple minutes. I think I'm going to try to go ahead and peel our decal off. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Need both hands, so I'm not gonna film it.
Alrighty guys, so we have the four done right here. Uh, I mean, they're all cooled down, whatnot. Um, now this one, it's not perfect. Um, this is residue from the decals. So a lot of that will come off. Um, but got some scratches in it, whatnot. I think that was because the vinyl was so thin and we left it in the oven too long and it kind of baked it and sealed it. But this one wasn't near an issue. Um, still got some little residue on there. Had a couple little bleeds on this one. Nothing too terrible. But all in all, I think it looks pretty good. The edges on the these two blue ones were kind of rough. Took a um, box cutter and cleaned them up a little bit. But anyway, there they are. Uh, we're probably going to try this again with this one. Um, we were cleaning this one and noticed it's got some dents in it. Got one there and another one right there. So this will probably be a test dummy again uh, for trying these um, or the two-tone powder. So anyway, there they are. Uh, the two pink ones here are going to my aunt, like I had mentioned. This one mine, my logo. And then this one is a lady that he works with. So, there they are. I mean, we still have, what, four more cups in here? Well, three in this one. So, I'm going to do some more experimenting with it and see what we can come up with. But I think the uh, seven minutes for letting the blue um, flow out, I think it was a little bit too long. So, next time I might try a minute or two and just let the powder flow out and not fully cure. But anyway, there's a little go around. And that blue, I like the blue. So Eastwood uh, Atomic Pink, Eastwood Gloss White, and then Eastwood Blue Metallic. So if anybody's wondering about that. But anyways, we're probably going to call it a night. I'll get uh, a couple pictures and we'll end up this video. Alrighty guys, so we're back here in the house. We're about to go see if we can grab some acetone to clean this one up. But let me turn this light on for y'all. There's a little LED light here. Makes a world of difference. Um, but I thought I'd show you without the flash here, this blue. I mean, this blue is amazing oh there's the sick pillow <laughs> but uh like i said we're gonna go grab some uh, acetone and whatnot try to clean this one up before it goes to miss charlotte tomorrow um but these two here i mean it's just very good pink so Anyway, guys, this is kind of the next little step here in powder coating. We're working on uh, looking at getting an oven and stuff to be able to do big stuff. Um, so, I guess stay tuned for that. But anyway, guys, here's my first attempt at two-tone powder coat uh, with a stencil, if you will. But like I said, we're ahead to Walmart go eat it's already 9 30 so super late but anyway guys that's going to be a wrap for today's video i will put up here on the screen a, a screenshot of the coding instagram and facebook page uh, sl custom coatings if y'all want to check that out i'll put a, a screenshot up here right now But anyway, guys, if y'all want to go check those out, give those a follow and a like. It would be much appreciated. But we're going to head up here, do some stuff, uh, come back, see if we can get these cleaned up. But, guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video or hopefully found it helpful, please drop a like and comment down below. Smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope everybody has a wonderful day.